Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of uh, my Touch 4G ROM that I've already done benchmarks for. Uh, the link will be in the description below. I uh, did some benchmarks on this and I promised a overclock benchmark, but this is a, a DAF flashable ROM, so I could never get a uh, overclock kernel to work with it. It's not as easy as it is with the uh, clockwork ROMs. Uh, this is a My Touch 4G ROM. It's a system dump of a My Touch 4G, just converted enough to work on the HD2. And it's a bit slow for my taste. It's very nice looking. And of course, it has the full set of widgets that come with this version of HTC Sense, which is uh, codenamed Glacier. So it has very nice widgets with it. If you're familiar with Sense, you're pretty much familiar with this. It's just slightly different. As you can see, it's more of a uh, grid style setup on this. And all in all, I mean, it's a decent ROM. It's just kind of slow. My battery life has not been that great with it. Everything is functional except for the high definition camera, of course, because I don't believe the hardware on the HD2 can sustain it. Um, battery, I get a day out of it, but barely. I've seen a lot better with other ROMs. It's a little bit slower since I can't overclock it in because it is a, a Sense ROM. There's another one on the market that I'm going to try out and um, do a video or two on. It's a, it's a clockwork flashable one, so it will be able to be overclocked, and I believe it already has an overclock kernel with it. I mean, um, things on this one, you've got the games that come with it. Rock Band doesn't work because you need the files off the SD card. Uh, of course, the screen share doesn't work because this doesn't have the right outputs for it. The Monopoly that comes with it does work, and everything else is fully functional. I had no problems with the ROM not functioning. Uh, I do like to run it without a memory card in it because it's a secondary phone for me and I could never get the time to stay set. I always had an uh, advice telling me to uh, set the time. So that kind of annoyed me, but I mean you shouldn't have that problem when I had it, my memory or my uh, SIM card in it. It worked fine. I do like the fact that you can separate out power widgets on this one instead of just using the power bar. It's another neat thing about Sense. Of course, everyone likes the Sense clock pretty much. Um, all the themes are functional. Everything's functional about it. I just wasn't pleased with the speed or the battery life on it. If I had been able to successfully overclock it, I'm sure the battery life would have been even worse because I do have profiles set for set CPU that cut the processor down when the screen's off and when it's asleep, different things. So it should have saved battery life. Um, that's really all I have to say about this ROM. I mean, it's fully functional and it's nice, and I'm sure they'll improve as they continue working on it. But at this point, I could not suggest it as a daily driver unless you keep a charger handy. <laughs> so I uh, just wanted to do a quick overview because I said I would. I'm going to be switching ROMs and doing some new benchmarks and uh, just some different ROM overviews in the next few weeks. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. Thanks.